This man is a paid killer, a Colombian who on this tape is spelling out the details of an alleged plot to assassinate Venezuelan President Hugo Chavez. There was an offer of $25 million to kill Chavez, any way possible. He says the money was offered by a wealthy Venezuelan politician, Manuel Rosales, during a secret meeting in 1999 in Venezuela, which he attended, along with Colombian paramilitary leaders, where the assassination plan was hatched. Rosales is a bitter enemy of Chavez. And what exactly did Rosales say in that meeting? That he would give 25 million to kill him, but that he himself would not give the money directly, but that he, Rosales, would be in charge of paying to kill Chavez. He claims that a powerful Colombian paramilitary group along the Venezuelan-Colombian border, which he was associated with, took up the offer. Later, after that, I can't remember how many paramilitary went to Caracas to kill Chavez, but they first went to Catamumbo on the border with Venezuela for training. But Chavez has long said there is a plot by Colombia to kill him. In 2004, over a hundred Colombian paramilitary members were rounded up and arrested outside of Caracas. But nothing was directly linked to an assassination plot. The man in the tape is currently in jail for paramilitary activity. In the tape, which Al Jazeera obtained from contacts inside Colombia, he is allegedly taking questions from investigators from the Colombian Attorney General's office. We are told this tape was filmed earlier this year. The Attorney General's office would not confirm or deny his claims. Rosales, who is facing corruption charges in Venezuela, sought asylum and fled to Peru, where he now lives. When reached by Al Jazeera, he said his schedule would not allow an interview. But the man in the tape says there are still people inside Venezuela willing to pay to do harm to Chavez. Right now, there are 2,500 paramilitaries from Colombia inside Venezuela. With what objective? With the objective of taking down Chavez. With the objective of destabilizing him. Gabriel Elizondo, Al Jazeera.